Full health, we got one shot. Of course, we are minus 60 with the uh, pacifism, but it's just... Alright. Emotional dysregularity. So if I can get the bag of spoons working, this character has all the potential. This character has all the potential. Should I actually get them down? Alright. Anything else worth purchasing? Not really. Alright. And like, honestly, donating to Char Sharon is making me so much stronger. I think it's worth the while. Yeah. Um, I might want to start getting the Leviathan set set up. Because that is an eventual set I want to use. Um... Other than that, we just keep diving in. We just keep diving in and hoping we get out safely. All right. So we can either get a fight or one of the damage boost or the damage boost. Either way works. There's a lot of areas that are the area. Oh no. Those explosions definitely hurt my routing situation. Ooh, I still need to update my spreadsheet, but I'm lazy and keep wanting to just play. Yeah, understood, understood. Nearly died as that theme got launched towards me. back around for that or there we go. all right here's one of the bosses I could have saved this to heal after but made a miss I could have saved at least use that to recover my mana the positioning. Alright, one's down. Spoon just deals so much damage, everyone. Spoon just deals so much damage. Yeah. Yeah, having burn and spore burst just makes it absolutely insane. And not even close. Alright. Well. Broke the first chain. I wonder, can... Awesome. Crescent Trinket 4. Awesome. Getting it all together, everyone. Alright, be 
careful. So yeah, they just teleport everywhere once you hit them. Alright, well we definitely gained more health thanks to that. So we have more health. Have you seen Dubal yet? I have done a successful speedrun of this. It took me three hours. But I have already done a successful speedrun of this game. So yes, I have. Yep, the very first thing I did was do a blind speedrun, so... Definitely was hard. Tubal took a lot of time. You got him first try? Nice. You know, I... Like, I think if I had my Spore Burst and stuff, I could've, but... Like... I got the new Nama um, first try, despite being lower level, but... Duval took me a few tries. Ronin Rage is no joke. Ah, ah, yeah, no, no, if... Yeah, definitely... It's a boss that, because of the ads, whether or not you're doing fresh file, really makes a difference for that boss. Alright. Where are all the stars? So that's really annoying. I have to go all the way... I have to go grab my mouse in order to scroll that. In case you're wondering why I didn't just scroll that earlier. Pizza Knights, what got me the kill, you, the kill on her? This spoon guy. This spoon chef. Has gone me every kill. Other than, of course, two ball because I ha did not have the opportunity to face two ball. Thanks. Bershi, you dropping in on me like that. Oh no, this is... Okay, you know what? Oh! Potential spam, that's what my phone's saying. Yeah, Spoon is definitely overpowered. Not denying that. But I'm gonna leverage the overpoweredness. I know one way to do this. Woo! Worked! Alright, amp room. Get to finish that off. But yeah. This update has made the chef the new strongest class in my mind. And like, I knew it was good. I just did... Like, t -Lore, I think, has said that Chef was always the best class. And, like, I knew there was some... There were definitely some great pauses, but I just felt like they were a little unorthodox. But now... Now with a Spore Bursting, Ladle. Easy best. Easy best. Oh, boy. Yep, 
Yeah, class passives. And so when they were doing the beta branch stuff, all the passives were just like intelligence plus 10%, vitality plus 10%, um, crit chance plus 5%, you know, that sort of stuff. So having it now be like proper passive powers, really cool, really cool. Not the best heirloom, but a fantastic heirloom. Or relic. My apologies. We're just gonna... Okay. Now I know. This is why I haven't spent that meat yet, because I'm going to reheal a lot from killing fiends. Plenty of fiends to kill. Ooh. Yep. Zombie lunges are just something you're not prepared for nowadays. You're not trained to prepare for them the way you're prepared for war. You're trained to prepare for wargs. Slug. No, slug. All right. Not the best relic. Two is two said <laughs> six hundred damage. Fair enough. But that's the thing, I want survivability, not damage. Damage is something this character has in spades. I really like how they just... They allow them to still start... Um have the attack encircle you, but the range is much smaller, and it makes it actually approachable, effectively. All right. All right, if I can do that, and then, all right. Well, now we only have to worry about this guy, so. Be careful of any projectiles teleporting into space. Nothing down there. You got a treasure chest here. There we go. the warg. Quite a few kicks, but nonetheless, successful strategy. Okay. Whew. Go. Weed. The weed triggers the bomb. Those bombs are just designed to one shot fiends, I swear. Ah. Who needs a ceiling to attach to when you could just attach to thin air. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a glitch that I need to report over to the Bug Reports channel, or if that's just how life is sometimes. By the way, how's it going, um, 
strong game chip creations. I've just been like so focused. I haven't even, I didn't even see you come in. My apologies. I've been doing good. We're just chilling. Playing the game as casually as I know how. Oof. Oh, it's already been recorded. Good. for the Worgen. Voidists don't really seem like that threatening of an enemy. Honestly. Cool idea, but they need a... Like, it's a projectile built to be avoided. Like, we literally got there. And it's not there. Jerks. Dead brick wall. Alright. Remember, I don't want to hit that guy unless I can kill him with one shot like that. Heck yes. Ooh. I just beat Nama of the Harvest with pizza power! Heck yes, man! Glad to hear it. Yep, yeah, I use the power of spoons. Hmm. These ladles. The most powerful weapon in the game. Voids gave me trouble at first when they were putting up static void walls. Oh. That... I'm... Right, so... Oof. Now we need to get the shield lead. Then remember that dashing through void stuff makes them disappear. Yep. I'm just gonna make it easy on myself. I have max mana right now. I can afford to lose a little. Whew. taken care of. Right. Oh my gosh. again. Alright, what's this attack? Alright. So they charge up, flip on their backs, and pop. I guess. 
They killed me with it once, and since then they've died before they can show me precisely what it is I am afraid of. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Easy solution. Whew. Got it all figured out. How are the new classes so far? They're good. Okay, so... Um, so Oliver and Edbean, the two new classes are Ronan and Bard, and they both, so they both seem like something with a ton of potential, and my lack of experience is causing me to not do as well with them as they deserve to be done. So, um, one of the big things is they added class passives, and the chef's passive is that all of their weapons apply burn, which has made their, um, special weapon of the spoon just so much more powerful. Especially since I do intelligence builds. Um, since my character is like specialized in high intelligence. It's made this very powerful. Um, does the player being poisoned just... The player... There's no enemies that can apply... As far as I know, there's no enemies that apply poison. Um, there's little poison clouds. Just they infect an area and I can't enter that area. So, like, you don't become poisoned, it's just that thing deals poison damage. It just has this area of poison that I need to avoid. That's all it is. Alright. Alright, there's one below us. Passes of the chef? Here, I can just pause and show you. Artisan, your weapons apply burn. So add that in with the fact that the bag of spoons always applies spore burst. And what you get is a weapon that applies all of the damage, all of the um, intelligence based damage over time in a single weapon. So I basically throw a spoon and the enemy explodes. I really want more chef charges, but I think I'll have to do. All right, two and three. Got lucky on landing on the precise platforms that were left. Ah. Oh, wait. But yeah. This spoon just deals all the damage, which makes these mini bosses just look like regular enemies. Oof. Yeah, give them all the damage over time. All we need is poison. There is a poison condition now. And Sir Quetz, So if I ever get Sir Quetz Steiner on this, that is really all the damage. Um, the passive of the chef is the equivalent of Amaterasu's son. Just passively. Without the resolve loss. So. Really strong. Found this one. Let's ring this bell. Not sure if it does anything, but I'm gonna ring it. Yeah, the vault. Ooh. The vault passive is magic crit stuff. Kind of makes no sense. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. They definitely. Um, they're like someone needs to have this passive, and I don't know what to give the Valk, so we're gonna just give it this. Definitely fills. What a place. Alright, alright. 
So, it's exactly where accessories is. So, right there. Right here. This paper is old. It's stained yellow and rotting at the edges. It's on the cusp of disintegrating to dust. Success! After almost a dozen attempts, I was finally able to anchor another room to the storehouse. The problem was every time I tried to construct a hidden room in the storehouse, it would invariably fall to the shift and be replaced with a new room. I needed a way to, f to anchor rooms together, so I examined Enoch's notes on the room problem. Understanding its connection to the shared subconscious only helped me partway to the solution. The solution came after examining Lamech's hidden chamber in the Tower of Lights. So he's been reading Enoch's notes. The fact... Enoch said that only him and Lamech knows of that hidden chamber. Two ball knows as well, apparently. Good know. That's myself. What was it anchor? What was it that anchored his hidden chamber to the room that hid it? All I had to do was turn around, and the answer would become clear. It was the false bookshelf, the secret painting, the hidden lever. Uh, oh, which well, relic do I prefer, Sir Questina or Amaterasu's son? Depends on my class. Roman or something like that. Definitely want Amaterasu's son. Um, if I usually I usually play the knight, so I think with the knights. I prefer Sir Quetsteiner because it will eventually deal more damage than Amaterasu's son. It's just you need to actually get all that damage. The reason is that they really hate the Valk, honestly. Uh, uh, but yeah, I do prefer um, Sir Quetsteiner, generally speaking. But Amaterasu's son is better against for some classes, especially if they have slower attacks. It's a unique portal shared by both rooms that makes them unmistakable and for unforgettable to share their subconscious. Thus, they are anchored together. All right. Bouldering and chocolate pudding. Good to hear. So I've been leaving that question of the day there for days because I was waiting for someone to actually answer it. Thank you very much, Oliver Ebbing. Thank you very much. All right. The mimics above are rudimentary, capable of doing only the most primitive of tasks. My new creation, the flying automation, is a robust and versatile piece of engineering. I can order them to defend me, mine ore, and even work the foundries to forge new equipment. With enough of these, the peasant workers down here will be redundant. People must be fed in clothes. They require rest, and they can suffer injuries. My, automation, my auto automatons, however, work non-stop every hour of the day. I request that me with the other estuaries and demand we replace all peasant labor with automatons, but my proposal was soundly rejected. They do not have the stomach nor the tenacity, tenacity to bring the future forward. They must be made to understand all progress the man's sacrifice. This... Uh, I'm gonna read it all. Sketch and diagrams of metallic flying hands fill every page. The interior cavity of each gauntlet is shaped to protect an urn. Wait. The interior cavity is... Okay, so all of their power comes from the urn inside this center. And in case anyone's wondering, breaking these do does me no good. Today was supposed to be a momentous occasion. I succeeded in allowing my mind to finally escape this wretched place, even if my body could not. With a hundred of my beautifully crafted mechanical hands, hey, a hundred hand in one, I remember someone talking about that, I broke through the ceiling of our subterranean kingdom and drilled up to the surface until I saw the true sky. My return should have been magnificent. I came bearing a hundred gifts for my king. Everything was perfect. Wait, he broke out against their wishes? By the king, he had betrayed us. He had betrayed me. For a thousand years, we had toiled down here in servitude and silence. We had done everything he has asked for us. But during that time, he had sired other estuaries on the surface. Is this how he repays our devotion? By replacing us with these new jumpstarts? This estuary Zilla, this estuary Jabal, and whoever many more wretches? Z and J! Z and J! Oh my gosh, it's Jabal and Zilla. Yep, they're all sons of Cain. We knew this. Okay, so Zilla and Jabal are the estuaries from above. Okay. 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 This is good to know. This is So this is the kingdom of Genesis. Cain is the area above. They were here working to bring back Genesis. Um, Cain kept moving and he felt like they were betrayed. Uh, there's your head of Tonchis. Yep, exactly. A hundred hands. Dude, okay, this is really cool because... I love how, so one of the things I love whenever people base it off of mythology is how they adapt the mythology to make sense in their world. And the fact that they're adapting like sort of Greek, like 
the mythos with Christian mythology, like specifically Kane's story, which has so little to work off of, yet they're doing so much with it. Like, uh, in case you're wondering, Kane's story is one chapter in Genesis, a single chapter in Genesis. They are writing a whole story about. They have wrote an entire game of, and it's just. The file gods isn't in the game right now, am I right? Correct. So there's actually this hilarious animation. Once I beat two ball, there's gonna be a hilarious animation of why the doors, um, the doors are gonna open and then shut. Right. Uh, it's funny. I'll I'll try not to spoil it, but it's good. They're merely imposters, pretenders. These false estuaries who prance about on the surface. They know nothing about loyalty or sacrifice. We who have endured for centuries down in the suffocating purgatory, trying to fulfill an impossible task, all for our king. We will not be forgotten. Aye, they shall reap what they have sown. Wait, did he do the rebellion specifically to get them killed? Well, on the table are maps charting every corner of the kingdom. Location of shifting storerooms are marked down, along with notes detailing the amount of misplaced or lost inventory. Another page seems to be tracking rebel camps and what supplies they have procured. It's hard to be certain, but supply losses seem intentional. Yep. Alright, there's a... Oh, right there. This layer is newer than the rest. The page has yet to yellow over time. False estuary has passed from the world above. Fallen to the blades of an unknown assassin. Such a shame. But his death proved more useful than his life. For it has given me the knowledge that has eluded Enoch for centuries. I can make the tree grow. The same day that false estuary passed, I noticed a new bud appear on the tree. And with that single bud, I believe I have finally pieced together why the tree hasn't grown. At the core of this world, we are all interconnected. It is said that the souls of the dead enter the river Styx, which nourish the tree of life, which gives birth to an all new life. But the river has been stagnant for millennia, which explains the tree's long stasis. So where do souls go when people die? I posit that the king, having consumed the last fruit of the tree of life, has become that place of return. The souls of the dead are diverted away from the river and towards him instead. It explains the king's longevity. He has feeded upon the deaths of his subjects, their children, and their children's children. He has become their purgatory. Now, as estuaries, we have partaken from his flesh, and thus begin granting to share in his immortal life. We are part of our keen, so it falls that when we die, part of our keen, the keen dies too. Hence, once released, the soul siphoned by the keen can finally return to the tree. The world needs a new keen, a grateful keen, and I can do it. I can grow new fruit. My brothers and sisters, I'm sorry, but progress demands sacrifice. Oh, Lambadroid, um, so I didn't know this. Someone else brought it up. Z, um, during the rebellion, Z, um, ended up fighting with Lamech. And as we know, Lamech won. So, Z is the SDR that perished. So, SDR 2 Ball, the thing is, he's not just sacrificing his fellow estuaries. It sounds like he's planning to sacrifice the king. So much to unpack. So much to unpack. Like, let's ignore the character. Like, character's great and all. And we can actually talk about why Tubal Cain, it makes sense that they're the smith. Um, then it has, yeah, Greek mythology with Styx and Sharon. Um, like, I feel like there's going to be other secrets in this room, and we just haven't realized them yet. That is so much lore. That is so much good lore. That is so much freaking good lore. Alright. One left up there. Reading all the guns along the way. I clear this one out? I might have cleared this room out and not remembered. Alright. 
Let's do this. I'll go who's consumed, but not by me. Let's go. I do have a strong class for this, but this is a day stain. All right. You know, I should have saved that. Get away. All right. This is the one weakness. I do not have a way to deal with this projectile spam. That's all right. Because apparently... Boss was about split anyways. All right. Ooh. Come on. I'm like waiting for... Like, trying to find a hole between all of them, and it just, they kept coming. Alright, we're almost at the halfway point for the next split. Yeah, this, this split isn't very threatening. At least not to me. Just like... Wow. Yeah, easy fight today. Real question is, how did Big Ol' Two Ball fit through, through that freaking door? Well, he wasn't a plant monster originally. He became a plant monster. By the way, those all of his hundred hands are out there just like walking around droning and how many people came into meat to ball and died there like what dead bodies in the mix chambers makes sense why in two balls did the were they feeding the dragon their servants that didn't pan out oh yeah animation right here nope just wet floor sign uh too many cycles I have lain restless. You've brought me great comfort. Thank you. My energy eludes me. I must rest. Alright. Oh, I think we have rained all these bells. I am checking one last time. Did something change here? Oh, oh, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe it's one, um, one Mahujala died that that thing occurred that he said some the SDRA perished, but. Mm. So we know he wanted to bring peace to the dragon. That last note made it sound like Tubal had planned to kill himself or do something to get himself killed on purpose. I think it was more he was trying to like. What's it? He's trying to make everyone drink Kool-Aid. He's trying to get everyone to die in the process. Like, he understands he's gonna have to sacrifice himself, but first he has to sacrifice the unwilling. Ooh. Also, yeah, I, I saw it as... They need a new key that's fit, like... He needed to take care of the keen, basically. Hmm. Oof. But yeah, I think what's gonna happen is they don't have... Unfortunately, this is the best talent that I'm holding on to right now, as far as I care. Right now, it is the best talent. But yeah, we're just... Now just exploring around, because we kind of did everything that we need to do. Honestly, I should probably explore around in the more dangerous areas, but, like... Alright, there's my charges.
Alright. Draw targets, time limit, 10. This is a new one. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Well, actually, I only missed one target. Hmm. It is a new one. Boxing Bell is not good for this character. Can you use the gold you're earning at the moment, or have you upgraded everything to full? No, 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 I'm at- I'm not at full upgrades. I still have quite a bit to do before I'm at full upgrades. Um, like, I'm underleveled for being at New Game Plus 7. So, I have plenty to do with my stuff. Yeah, you almost need Bard Shout or Barbarian Shout, yeah. Ah! And, like, I was almost able to do it without. So, I think it's just, like, built that it's... Can you do a challenge? And, like, I'm okay. Like, that's a challenge that, like... I think it's feasible to do it in other ways. So, I... Like, that's one of those challenges that's, like... There's not a precise solution. But there is enough possibilities of solutions that it's a cool little puzzle. Using this to just reheal my mana. Oof. Well, I beat New Game Plus 10 at level 260. Nice! Nice, man. Hmm. It's almost impossible to get max level since the Soul Shop always provides more things to buy. Yep, basically. Ronin Reach could also work? Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm wielding the best weapon. But I do appreciate it. Gosh, not losing 600 health for making a, t a small error. Feels cheap. There we go, that's the damage I was expecting. One can the chef throw its spoon, and here I thought it would deflect projectiles. So, there is um, a special thing you could get later on. You could spend your souls to get access to alternate weapons for a few of the cast members, and one of the alternate weapons is a bag of spoons for the chef. So, yes, you do deflect projectiles with the regular chef. This is not the regular chef. That's what makes this chef so powerful. Starting them off. Alright. So they replace the rock reveal with just like the ground itself is like a lighter color. So yeah, I traded away my ability to deflect projectiles with this arced throw. Yeah, let's just go back to Fish and Dry Lake and try to explore the other areas. Try to kill myself, basically, by being more aggressive, is the idea. In the more dangerous places. 
If this doesn't work, we'll jump over to Sun Tower and do the same. Oh, yeah, there's a long... I never thought about that. There's a much longer loading screen because this area is so big. That being said, this is a little excessive. It's not like... It doesn't say it crashed. It's just loading. Uh... I'm going to assume, though, that it's going to load way too long, so... Oh, please save my kills. Alright, we're just popping back in. Alright. Please save the kills. Alright. Okay, cool. Let's try this again. Hopefully this time the system doesn't crash. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Whew. So I have a theory as to what our final bosses are going to be. Um, I think that we are going to get another um, J, like Sir J sort of situation, like how we had Johannes. I think we're going to get um, Estuary Jabal, and once Jabal is defeated, we then face the Tree of Life itself. But the question mark, question mark, question marks, I think is us getting ready to face Kane. I think this, there's going to be a secret boss, which is King Kane. How's it going, Kratosino? Glad to have you here. We just finished up this, um, this, we just finished up New Game Plus 7, and we are busy just clearing out... Basically, we're just um, getting this character killed because they're they have everything and there's not much more for it to do. All right. Well, it's really good at dying. I will say I was very effective. I gave myself killed just like I suggested. Doing good, my mother did take her... Okay, so your mother's doing better. Glad to hear. So he's more than safe. Thank God. Oof. Glad to hear you're doing better, Crassino. Glad to hear you and your family's doing better. Oof. Come on. Well, we're just playing the new patch. Just, we got a new patch um, on the 28th, so... Still plenty to... I think we just explored the rest of it, basically. That we're gonna probably that means we're probably gonna do speed runs. Starting tomorrow, maybe? Oh, I thought you were dead. Hmm. Well. Thanks, man, you too. This game is strange. Point zero six is gonna be the last biome. Oh yeah. we I think that the next one's going to be the release, but we are not technically certain of that. But there's so little left for it to for them to do, so it's reasonable to believe the next patch is release. But yeah, glad you're doing better, man. Woo. There's a zombie. Woo. Ah, wrong direction. Yeah, the fact that he charges up to shoot a single void projectile just makes this guy very weak. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, just kind of waiting for a phone call that might get me a job. I feel pretty confident about it, but it's taking its time. And other than that, we just chilling. We just chilling. We playing our game. We doing good. Constantly growing, little by little. Ooh. All right. Purple works well for you. Me. Thank you very much, man. I do appreciate it. Whew. Just gotta focus. 
keep moving. There we are. Yeah. I'm... Defeat all enemies, lose no health. Alright, I have an idea. The idea worked fantastically. Uh, of course. <laughs> Gosh. So in case anyone's wondering, I cannot do narrow praxis without having to do a lot. Like, I have to take the time out of my day to, like, plug in my controller, cl clean it up. Like, there's a lot of things I have to just randomly do just for that one thing. Hmm. Thank goodness they actually died. Nope. Sorry, I already have best weapon, buddy. Thanks for the offer, though. Alright, gotta be careful. Immediately take two hits. Dodge all the enemies, can't jo dodge the trap. Fair enough. Alright. Alright, that should kill them. That's a great way to kill myself, but I, w I would... So this challenge, I'm pretty sure I need a certain talent to do, so... You know what? This is a great way to kill myself. And I need to kill myself eventually. Oh, that's not good. I mean, as long as my goal is dying, it's perfectly acceptable, but... Yeah, particularly gives me backup suit, but I'm already used up all the backup suits I gained, and I'm just charging on in. The point is to get myself killed, not to last infinitely. I need this life to end, not to gain a longer duration. Oh no. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Hey, I've been catching, watching a lot of your YouTube vids. I'm really happy I caught the stream. Glad to hear it, Thalsay. Thank you very much for coming by. Whew. So we just finished a huge, a huge chef run. An absolutely massive chef run that got me from New Game Plus 7 into New Game Plus 8. So, came right at the tail end 